first of all, I just want to talk about Catholic Brothers for Christ. Most of you guys have been to our conference or been to the to the what we call movement now. We're making this a move, more of a movement than it is a conference. The conference just gets you motivated to do something other than what you know what you do every day. So that's we're trying to make this Catholic Brothers for Christ movement. Um, so our mission is to unite brothers to witness in the gospel in all areas of our lives and to facilitate faith building programs in your communities. We do it three, in three different ways, through strength, through accountability and leadership. Um, the accountability piece is like, when you, when you have fellowship among brothers, we all hold each other accountable. That's why you come to R&D every week, is so you can add your accountability to what you're doing all the time. It keeps your faith alive. It keeps you engaged in what you're doing. That's what the conference also helps do. Uh, and then leadership. like. If we ever need leaders in our church, it's now. I mean, besides our priests, our bishops, our pope, we need leaders, lay leaders to stand up and, and help the church. So that's what this movement's all about. It's, it's, it's a step up above. It's not above, but it's, it's more than just our local parish. It's the whole Dallas-Fort Worth area. It's the whole North Texas area is what we're trying to, to evangelize. So the, what does facilitating faith building mean, okay? In the last, we've done this for eight years now. This will be our eighth conference. We've kind of had a conference. We did some, we've done some other events as well. But now we're going we're gonna to add on to what we do at the conference. Not only do you go to the conference, but we're going we're gonna to add on a, a program after the con conference, like a six-week program. We're going to use all the things that we have uh, done over the eight years and provide resources that you can go watch a video, you can have discussion, you can do it virtually, you can do it in person. We're gonna do it on our website, so you can do it either any way you want. So we're gonna, we're gonna step up what we're doing and make it an ongoing type thing. Because a lot of times, it's like a roller coaster. You guys go to this conference, you feel great, then you come back and what do you do after that? You know, you, most of you go to R&D, and, and become, but that's what we need. We need people to be involved all the time. So that's kind of what we're thinking on. Uh, we read this book, No Man Left Behind. If you guys haven't read that book, you ought to read it. It's a great resource and it kind of goes through the steps on how to keep men engaged after they've had a great experience and that they've encountered the Lord. They, it teaches you how to, how to stay engaged. Uh, and then all these other programs, like I said, you guys come to R&D every week. Uh, you do CHIRP. Knights of Columbus is another good way to get involved with Knights of Columbus. Uh, Father Capon, we've seen those videos. Wild Goose, Rise Ministry, which is what we're doing coming up. So that's what we're doing as, as a group for Catholic Brothers for Christ, to keep all these things in front of you so you can 
you can do stuff with it. So we put on 11 events in the last seven years. We've had seven spring conferences. We average about 700 people at the conference every year. Uh, we've had too many conferences or fall conference uh, where we had about 250 men. One, one year we did it in Spanish and English. Uh, we've had a movie event. Um, last year we had a movie event. This year we sponsored the King of the Nations, which is a, which is a Christmas musical uh, event, which was really awesome. And whoever went to that, you know what I'm talking about. It was an awesome event. We've had over 120 parishes represented in North Texas, which is pretty awesome. We've had Spanish interpretations at some of our conferences. We have we've had over 20 plus Catholic speakers, 20 priests helping with reconciliation. Um, 50 plus Catholic vendors have joined our organization. We've also done hurricane relief. So we've done a lot of different a lot of different things and we're and we're, we're really just kind of beginning to do these more and more things besides just the one conference that we do every year.